<clears throat> What's up everybody? It's Chris from Ground and Beef. Um, today I'm, I'm fixing some fence posts. The older fence that we still have wooden fence posts in. Um, I use this so it goes in there you know it's cone shaped and then you go in and wiggle it around and it bores that hole out without taking any dirt and then you just hammer it in there I'm kind of old school like that still for the wooden posts I know there's faster modern technology but that costs money this is free this uh, my grandfather had probably my great grandfather had it so this has always worked good and I can go really quick if I'm doing a wooden line but like I said we're getting that new timeless fence post um, I've shown you those on other videos and I'll I'll show you more we're buying some more so eventually these wooden posts will be gone but for now they're paid for and you know I just got to replace a couple posts here and then this lines up down through there and then um, they'll be coming out on grass so I, I waited um, for the grass to grow like they could have been out here a week ago but um, like I waited and now the clovers are starting to come up uh, cause it's been warm, so like just you know, just just look at that. Like that's there's a lot of food there. So the, the grass is really starting to come on. Um, finally, like they're they're over here on that pasture, and there's nothing left. Like they're they're scrounging, and, and you know I get it, but we're still feeding a little bit of hay um just to keep their bellies from because that that's going to be really rich stuff so <clears throat> um today i'm going to open this up and get them out here and they'll have this for i don't know for we'll see how long it goes i don't want them to mow it off we're trying we're trying the new every year i say i'm going to do this and i don't um but we're going to do the rotational thing better um, I'm getting the, the other fence posts so that I can um, <clears throat> get the out of places and um, just I have to start somewhere and every year I say I'm going to do this and I don't and uh, the wooden posts we put in down there uh, way down there they've knocked them all out because I didn't get the wire up in time the year before that I got the wire up in time and I got it all electrified but the deer blasted through there knocked a wooden post out and then the next thing it's just a snowball effect and I can't keep up with that but the new the new timeless posts like they work so good with the deer they're so flexible so I'll show you that I'm going down there down there to check that line so let's go down there so these are the timeless posts. I've, I've had them in other videos. Um, they're they're really amazing. Like I took one of these posts and I went in on an angle and put a bolt in there, and that sucker is solid. Like to go to go that way, like it it doesn't move at all. This way, it's still flexible. So if a deer hits it, you know, but. Um, it goes down in there. It's probably in there uh, 16 inches See there's a they put a sticker on there, so That's how far in you go once you get to that sticker you stop So you know, they're just They're just so nice Like since I've switched the, most of the perimeter to this we haven't had any issues with deer because look at that like the deer the deer will jump through there and it'll just spring right back up you know you could bend it right over and it springs right back up and then you got the high tensile wire it's just it's really cool stuff this this got washed out 
That's a little low, but we don't have that low one, that bottom one charged. We got trees to pick up. See, this is why I'm creating the passive income so that I can be here and do all this stuff. So I don't have to go to town to work. We got a girl that's that's up here by the fence and she's an old timer. So she's on to me. She's like, hey, what you doing there, bud? There, she's even licking her chompers. She's like, hey, what you doing? <laughs> All right, we'll have some fun in a second here. I'll call him up here. All right, so don't make fun of me. I'm gonna call him up here. I had to get away from the golf course <laughs> because I'm gonna yell and I sound like a ding dong, but that's what my grandfather always did. So here we go. They're down there. Kabaz, kabaz, kabaz. Come on, girls. Kabaz, kabaz, kabaz. Kabaz, kabaz, kabaz. Come on, girls. <laughs> Not one movement. Nothing. I think the wind's coming this way. So, and there's a tractor back there running somewhere. So let's go closer. Now they hear me. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. They're all barreling up. Come on, girls. We gotta go. Look at them. Look at them, they love it. Come on. Come on. Look at them. Come on there. She's like, oh yeah. Look at them. Just listen to that. comes a goat <laughs> she's like whoo man good lord she's like you call us all up here for this <laughs> I eat grass wherever I want 